Boom, baby, we are live. Welcome to the Tokyo Crypto Show, episode 91. Coinbase manipulates the market to boost their IPL. We're going to be talking about that today in great detail. So if you wonder why your portfolio is so green, the number one reason is because of the Tokyo Crypto Show. However, the number two reason <laughs> is because Coinbase is a 1,000% manipulating the market. We're going to go into detail about that. But real quick, take a look here. We got something we got to show you. a man whose sole purpose is to empower men with truth and he is viciously taking out evil forces set out to harm men one by one the power of his army grows by the day he's created a team of trained experts in all disciplines masculinity Cryptocurrency, dating, combat, fitness, psychology. His one goal is to free the minds of as many men as possible. And he's accomplishing that goal. Now, he's assembling new members of his team and recruiting them has begun. He and his army are unstoppable. Who the hell are you supposed to be? I'm Supreme Leader. That's right. April 29th, guys. The Masculine Empowerment Network is going live. A lot of people who have been in Charlie's Crypto Mindset course have reached out to me and told me they are excited. They are so happy. They are thrilled to get the 60, 60, 60 Zoom webinar coaching sessions throughout the year. It is a yearly membership. If you are ready and you want to get on the waiting list to learn how to make more money, Charlie will be in there doing his one bonus webinar for the entire course. We'll also be doing Q&A. If you want to learn how to get into good physical shape to meet, keep your mind sharp so you can optimize your trading strategies. And let's be honest, guys, we're all men here. And when we get a bunch of money, we're going to want some women. And there are predatory women out there. There are women out there that know what Ethereum and gold and they know what Bitcoin <laughs> is now. And there are there's a new breed of crypto gold digger out there. I'm not saying all women are like this, but I'm saying there are women like this out there. So we're just going to teach you how to have a healthy understanding of the relationship marketplace. So if you're a guy that decides that, hey, you know what? I really just want to sort out my dating life and just, you know, maybe get one girl, two girls or whatever wife, whatever the thing you want to do. Um, we'll help you out with all of that to get on the waiting list. OK, all you need to do is go to this website right here www.masculineempowermentnetwork.com. Just click on this little box right here that says uh, your email address here. Put your best email address in here. Click this green button to say get on the waiting list and you'll be set. Okay. Uh, there's a five day enrollment period and it is April 29th, April 30th, May 1st, May 2nd, May 3rd. 
May 4th, it's International Star Wars Day. We're going to take that one day off. May the 4th be with you. And then on May 5th, we begin our 20 webinars, okay? They go from every business day, Monday to Friday, starting on May the 5th, which is a Wednesday, going all the way to May 18th. All you need to do is go to this website right here, MasculineEmpowermentNetwork.com. Get on the waiting list. There's 314 men on the waiting list right now. And we have such an amazing show here for you today. Uh, Charlie, you've been in on some of the Masculine Empowerment Network things, and even you found a lot of beneficial uh, information in there. I think, you know, There's time. you're, yeah, I think you're, you're really, I think this year you really told us that um, once you move back to Tokyo, you're going to really hit it hard in the gym and get your fitness on point. And I know Miguel has been talking about it as well. Oh, yeah, uh, he's already started just so, last you know, week. It's it's something that we're all going to be a part of, and you know we're all here together. We're all men, and we all want the same thing. We want we want we want to make some profits. We want to have a good physical fitness, and we want to have safe relationships, relationships that are not going to burn us in divorce court, and not going to break our hearts to catch somebody cheating who we shouldn't have given the benefit of the doubt of being faithful in the first place. We all have our mistakes of relationships in the past, so. In order, not, in order to minimize all this, we're going to help you out. All you need to go is MasculineEmpowermentNetwork.com. Get on the waiting list. And uh, speaking of crazy and great things that are coming, we got crazy news today. Um, so we have the Coinbase IPO tomorrow, right, Charlie? Is, is 100 to verify? And, and uh, well, technically, uh, the stock market opens in the uh, Coinbase IPO listing uh, technically is supposed to happen in about 11 minutes, mm -hmm. but um, it usually takes about two, two and a half hours for the price to go live. Right now, there's a pre-listing uh, price for the Coinbase uh, coin. It's called Coin on the NASDAQ, just C-O-I-N. Yep. Um, I'm, I don't know who they paid off to get that, <laughs> but uh, it'll be 250 bucks uh, is what the pre uh, listing is. And now technically it's not an IPO. It's a direct listing, but all the media uh, is used to IPOs, right? It's just, right. I mean, if you say Coinbase direct listing out today, it doesn't sound so sexy, right? So right. Um, yeah, the price for an IPO is usually determined before. Um, this one, they give a an estimate, a uh, conservative estimate of what they think it could be. Currently, they're saying two hundred fifty dollars, and uh, that would make Coinbase worth about sixty six billion dollars at the outset. But it's uh, right now on the crypto exchanges one uh, FTX. It's already trading pre IPO, right? And um, it's valued much higher than that. So uh, it's likely that as soon as it, uh, basically, the first two two and a half hours after the Nasdaq bell rings. The stock, the uh, New York Stock Exchange rings the bell. As soon as that happens, um, then they all talk. They all look over the numbers of um, who's been trying to, uh, you know, speculate on this before the opening bell. They try to get an agreed upon price, and then boom, right around probably noon Eastern, uh, people will be able to start uh, looking at what the actual price is, trading it officially on the stock market. So it's so it's, it'll be on the stock market today, not tomorrow. Correct. Okay, and probably great. about three hours uh, at latest from now. Yeah, and so um, you know what we're looking at here is, um, you know, in my opinion, you know, me, you, and and uh, Miguel Dolacos Crypto had a chat earlier today on Zoom, and I told you, I, I mentioned to you guys, I said, guys, this is like clearly, clearly market <laughs> manipulation, and you both were like, I don't know, do you think so? Do you really? Think so? I was wondering what you, how you're defining that. Yeah. Right. And so, you know, I mean, you just got to look at common sense here. I look, Coinbase is a corrupt institute, okay? And uh institution. And to top it off, the the most common sense thing is this. Bitcoin is at an all-time high right now and Coinbase servers have not crashed. So, I mean, that right there shows me that okay, something is up, right? And I just can't believe that it's just a coincidence that they have an IPO and and uh, the price is just launching this week. I mean, you got to sometimes just put the dots together. And, uh, you know, I just I I don't trust uh, I don't trust Coinbase as an organization. 
Um, they're certainly corrupt and like, um, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, I, I've just have you ever looked at their I'm going to show I'm going to share this real quick. Have you ever looked at their Instagram? I have not actually. OK, take a look at this. So, you know, OK, now this is not this is not like disparaging any of the people or anything. But if you just see stuff like this, like they are totally going like the corporate hack route, like, you know, and again, you know, I, I'm all for equality. But so here we have a corporate equality index 2021 rating. Uh, workplaces on lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer equality, right? Uh, and then we have, you know, you know, the animations, the, 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 the kind of like, you know, you could see them leaning towards that social wokeness side, and, um, you know, they've been involved in in corrupt shit since 2017, when with the whole Bitcoin Cash scandal being listed on there. But again, when I saw this, I just rolled my eyes and I just thought, oh, my God, here we go again. Like they are basically they are becoming what the banks I mean, they're, they're becoming what um, what uh, what what crypto was founded against, which is like the the banks. They're just becoming big banks. Yeah, they're uh, friends with JP Morgan. Right. Big banks of this situation. And, and like, honestly, I could just read in between the lines. And again, I'm not saying like, you know, anything crazy, like I hate gay people or anything like that. Like, like whatever, suck whatever organ you want to suck. I don't care. Yeah, but I think think people when they, you know, when you discuss these things in America now, people automatically assume your position based on, right. you know, not having enough context, essentially. So people, you know, are triggered right out the gate. Whereas, you know, I think having more discussions about these types of things are, are important, right? Whereas yeah. that, you just can't talk to anybody about this stuff anymore because people just automatically are like, hey, you must hate people because you say this stuff, right? And then I think this one's great too here. Um, this was my favorite one, actually. Uh, how can crypto affects your taxes? 2020 tax guide, crypto and Bitcoin in the US. You know what they're doing. They're, they're posting this. So big daddy government doesn't come shut them down. <laughs> but I mean, ultimately, you know, uh, I think, you know, Coinbase is a good thing. It's good that it's helping people get, um, you know, cryptocurrency and, and they are getting crypto to the masses. However, the way they're going about doing it is like literally the anti what Satoshi Nakamoto wanted to have when he created uh, well, Bitcoin. Yeah, and that's where we go and like uh, ask the question, you know, how much do we want the uh you know, large institutional banks money in crypto, right? There's a there's a huge discussion about that. And, uh, you know, for the last four years, since 2017, the crypto community has been begging for it, right? It's like, mm -hmm. be careful what you wish for, because nothing, you know, this is a, some, a move that uh, is going to make crypto legitimate, right? A lot of more bigger money players are going to be more comfortable coming into crypto now. But at the same time, right, it kind of, yeah, like you said, moves away from its grassroots. Yeah. Um, Ryan Sullivan already sending in a $10 super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, Charlie, can you, you can put your Streamlabs link in the, oh, right. uh, in the chat because, uh, YouTube is kind of messing with Charlie's channel right now because, uh, the monetization is a little screwed up. Uh, so if you guys want to send a super chat, you can only send it on my channel, uh, modern life dating. You can come over here if you want to send a super chat to get my attention and Charlie's attention. Ryan Sullivan with the $10 super chat says because of New York's bit license laws i was thinking about creating a guide to help people navigate it would charlie and miguel be cool if i made a guide i don't see why they wouldn't be yeah it depends on what you're going to use it for i mean send me a message or email and yeah we'll just see what you're intending to do with it and then uh, we'll talk yep uh ping you can also ping me ryan uh ping me on telegram because charlie's like drowning in work yeah, you got to get in touch with me by email. My social media stuff is like, yeah, it's very hard to look at because there's just so much stu stuff going on there. Yep. So uh, Charlie just got a new iPhone, so he's catching up with us in 2021. He is he's, he's, he's on the now. path, baby. Look at him. He's a crypto <laughs> drug dealer now. <laughs> um, Always have yeah. been. Oh, no, I'm joking. Um, you know, <laughs> I, I think that – I don't – you know, I'm, I, I look, I'm being a purist, but like I know ultimately – Coinbase is a good thing, but I just really cringe when I see this like fake bullshit and like this fake wokeness. And it's like, it's all marketing. Yeah. And then it's like this. The, the reality is this, right? Like, you know, somebody, you know, some people have, have, have said to Charlie before, like, oh, why are you co-promoting with that modern life dating guy? Blah, blah, blah. He's a dating coach. Why are you doing that? Right. 
And I, I, my question to those people is, don't you understand what cryptocurrency is all about? Cryptocurrency is about freedom, individual sovereignty, okay? And me working with Charlie and Charlie working with me, that is like the number one reason why crypto is important because we have the freedom to do what we want. And I'm not saying like we're going to run into like a like a, a factory and shoot the place up like you know freedom or anything crazy like that but it's like that's that's really what crypto is all about and then i don't like the fact that coinbase can like lock your account and and put limits on your purchasing it's like this is mm -hmm. literally the anti cryptocurrency movement and and it's and it's being done under the guise of cryptocurrency i do think this now i think that these time that these these centralized exchanges, I think they're going to have their place. But the future is with with the autist on Uniswap, <laughs> and then the fucking the future belongs to these guys who are all about the decentralized. Because the the moment for me, I don't like anybody telling me what to do. Charlie's the same mm -hmm. way. And the moment somebody tries to tell us what to do, we really get livid. We don't like it, and that's why we love crypto. We are very libertarian in the sense like, just leave me the fuck alone. Yep. Stop encroaching on my freedom. Stop trying to tell me what to do. Like, I don't like it. Stop trying to, to manipulate and control me. I'm not the stock market, Coinbase. Stop trying to <laughs> manipulate me. <laughs> well, that and that's where, you know, uh, America's, you know, founding principles, right? That, that's what we founded America on. And so, I mean, people should be striving for that, but... Clearly, uh, that's not happening. So uh, we got to do that by ourselves if we're going to have that. Yeah. Um, you know, so we are. Yeah. This, <laughs> uh, El, El Tal writes a great. He says he has a great comment here. He says Coinbase causes you to have mixed feelings. You want crypto to move ahead, but perhaps not like this. Right. And yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Ultimately, the thing is, that's why we started the Tokyo Crypto Show, because we knew that crypto was here to stay. We knew that it was coming and we really wanted to educate people on the real, real crypto. Not mm. like, look, the, f the moment they start weaponizing gay people and be like, oh, we, ha we are like the most equality people. We love gay people. So you should buy crypto from Coinbase. It's like, how about you just explain the functionality of what coins are good? Explain the functionality of what a smart contract is. Let us know who the developers, de developers are. Give us the facts and we'll make the choice. But no, they have to be like, oh, here's here. We love gay people like support us. And it's like, I don't care if you're gay, what? straight or anything right. like that. I don't care. It's totally irrelevant. I, yeah, it's it's like it's 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 like, hey, like, I know you wanted to uh, I know you wanted to uh, buy Ethereum, but I just want to let you know um, I had a one protein bar for lunch and it has 20 grams of protein per serving. And you're like, great tell me what fucking coins you bought i don't care it's the same thing so little shit like that bothers me maybe i'm maybe i'm being out of uh unreasonable but i don't think i am and well um, i think it's just gotten to such an extreme in america right um that people are just shoving it in other people's faces and they're using it as a marketing tool which is almost worse right <laughs> and then like hey we're gonna exploit you and we're gonna pretend like that's for equality we're actually we're just doing it for money yep Exactly. MLD Clips is in the house. Uh, this is my, my Clips channel. It says, we just care whether you're making money or not. That's really all we care about. Like We, we are ego invested in your guys' success because Charlie and I, we're not like just trying to like do some money grab. Like we Trust me, we we're doing this shit before it was cool. We were doing it before <laughs> we were cool. Now we're like super cool. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know... Um, we're we're in, we're invested in student success, and we believe that's the greatest testimony. Is like when we help you guys win, and then by you guys winning, <coughs> automatically that just makes us look fantastic, and that's what we want. Ultimately, that's the number one thing we search for here on this channel with this yeah. show, and that's why we show up. I mean, Charlie literally shows up every day and gives free information on crypto. I show up on my channel once a week here, and then. You know, I go on Moon Gang and then I do my own show as well. I'm, I mean, we are constantly giving to you guys for free to show you that we care. We want this to win with you guys. We want this thing to be successful. And we're going to point out some stuff today that, you know, kind of a little bit of red flags we've noticed here with this whole mm -hmm. thing.
Well, and it's nice, you know, when you have a consultation, right? And somebody comes to you instead of coming to you and saying, what is this whole thing? Like, you know, I need like a whole like weekend's explanation of what is crypto? Well, how do I make money in this and stuff? And you, but when they watch your YouTube channel or watch Tokyo Crypto Show uh, and they come and they say, hey, I've been watching your channel for three months. I've learned A, B and C. Here's my strategy. What do you think of it? Right that's awesome. And then they sit and then they come back again later and like, thank you so much. I've made so much money from your information. Like that type of value added to our, you know, uh, our watchers, the moon gang here, uh, is much, much better than, you know, I think some channels, right. They say, Oh yeah, it's going to the moon long it now. Oh wait, now short it. Right. And they just give you, uh, we'll talk about one of those guys a little bit later. Um, but they just give you false flags of information and then, you know, you get wrecked based on, uh, people just BSing you. Right. So, um, yeah, we're here to add value and, uh, yeah, we enjoy, you know, interacting with the chat here as well. It's a good time. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, I just think that we are just seeing so much right now, man. Like dude. Okay. So you want to know, Charlie, do you want to know? I had a real, real, uh, bull market confirmation the other day. All right. And let's hear it. It, kind of, it. it hit me really hard. Like a, like a freight train. Um, I don't even look at shit coins like this, uh, but Dogecoin <laughs> is 13 cents. <laughs> you would have bought it just like what on Sunday or something. You'd double your money. I don't, I don't take, I, I am a trader, not a gambler, <laughs> but I just saw that and I was like, you know, no wonder some of these people get delusion. Like I don't need, I don't need these guys coaching. I don't need their course, whatever. These motherfuckers are going to be crying in December, <laughs> but oh yeah. Well, you know, how those guys never take profit and they end up like buying more at the top. And then all of a sudden their average price went from maybe they'd bought it at like four cents. Right. Then it goes up to 12. They buy like three times more. Then it goes up to like 18 and then, you know, they don't sell and it goes back to four. And now it goes back to their original buy price. But now because they've added so much capital at the top, now they're in red. Mm -hmm. Like people do stupid shit like that all the time in a bull market. You know, and I also saw that, you know, uh, yeah, exactly. Raymond Drake says uh, XRP is up <laughs> ripples at a dollar seventy eight. <laughs> Someone told me the other day, hey, Ripple, I bought Ripple at like eight cents and now it's a dollar seventy eight. Should I sell? I was like, get out, yes. <laughs> get out, get the fuck out right now. You could take three um, times your original position and still have plenty of profit to spare. <laughs> but, you know, these people, are, but you know, he's like, I don't know. I want to ride this out. I want to ride this out. I'm like, oh, of course God. they do. Yep. All right, man, go lose all your money. I don't care. Do whatever you want. Um, Al with the $2 super chat says this IPO is a honeypot <laughs> for all you dirty tax evaders. Not me. I paid my taxes three times this year. Okay. I am hundred percent part of uh, the tax paying elite. Believe me. I am paying taxes. God damn it. I hate the U.S. government. <laughs> um, now, one thing, another another sign of the bull market is I was I was searching on YouTube the other day <clears throat> and I just typed in people who don't know shit about cryptocurrency. And uh, you can see what I got right here. This guy popped up and I could just see like right here. Uh, you can see right here. I typed up people who don't know shit about crypto. And uh, this this uh, Alex Becker checking in at five foot nothing. Uh, <laughs> says sold all my Ethereum for the best coin of April. This was on April 2nd. Okay. I truly fucking hate this five foot five little manlet. And the reason is he is just marketing himself and he is selfishly marketing his brand, um, just for clicks and for views. And he's telling people look, worst advice ever. Literally April 2nd, the price of Ethereum was below 2000 now here we are ethereum is literally pushing all-time highs and this guy is saying to his audience he's, he's got a large audience too he has uh six hundred and thirteen thousand people this little manlet is saying to the world sell your ethereum and then he all he talks about is like pumping some shit coins now Here's the deal. If you're going to deal with shit coins, you need to be like Charlie's level of intelligence. You need to be my level of intelligence. You need to be uh, Wasabi's level of intelligence, uh, voice my ambition, and of course, uh, Miguel, right? You got to be up there to, to dabble in these shit coins and not get burned. A lot of you guys think you're invincible right now because we're in a bull market and the bull market is giving you a massive handicap. However, there, I mean, I'm just telling you, 
I've seen some of you guys' behavior in the Discord and the Telegram, and I don't have time to correct all your stupidity, but I'm seeing a lot of you guys are going to get wrecked if you keep on playing with these shit coins and thinking that you're just invincible and you're and you're not gonna you're not gonna lose, Charlie. Yeah, the funny, most well, I agree with that wholeheartedly. But then the funniest thing about Alex Becker is in 2019, I was just you know looking at different streams and stuff, and he was talking about ways to make money, right? Yeah. So I was like, oh, let's watch this. And it was a live stream. I was like, oh, that's cool. I love and the I was, story. <laughs> I was just there was a live chat going on. I was just I was under the Cultivate Crypto name or whatever. I should probably find the video. I'd go back and like take a screenshot, but I uh, or a, or a timestamp. But I just um, was typing in the chat, and I didn't think he'd see it, right? Because there was like you know uh, tens of thousands of people watching, and um, I was just like buy Bitcoin <laughs> or something <laughs> along those lines, right? And it was like early 2019. Bitcoin is probably around like five six thousand dollars, something like that. And uh, well, now it's ten times that easily. And uh, he, he was just like, no, no. He he actually paused a little bit, looked at it, and said, mm, "I don't agree with with crypto. I think it's interesting. I think it has a future, but um, I don't think you should buy it. It's too risky, right?" And then he moved on to some other subject that he's like, "But better ways to make money." And da, 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 right? And like the opportunity of a goddamn lifetime, right? And now it was when was it exactly that he started coming out with crypto things but it's probably in like the fall at some point maybe sometime mm -hmm. between november and december right as soon as things start getting interesting as soon as youtube starts promoting crypto related things because in the uh december of 2020 crypto uh was actually being promoted on youtube pretty well a year earlier than that in uh, december of 2019 they banned some of the uh, almost, I would say about like 80% of crypto channels for like, it was like three or four days. And they were like, oh, that was an accident. We uh, actually, you know, we're doing this other thing for privacy of information, blah, 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 blah. It's like, so, you know, you took down Data Dash, you took down uh, other crypto streamers or whatever. My stream was still up because like at that time, I think I had like 300 subscribers or something. And, um, so I, I kept streaming, but, uh, and actually got like pretty high viewership that day, but it was just one of those things where it was like, uh, you know, now, as soon as YouTube's on it, like, of course, Alex Becker, Becker wants to talk about it. And I'm guarantee you until that time, he had not looked at crypto an ounce between the time that I told him to buy Bitcoin and the time that YouTube started promoting it. And so then it, all of a sudden. Boom, I'm an expert on Bitcoin and Ethereum. You should sell it all. It's those things are gonna not make you money. You're gonna make money um with, you know, I forget what the most recent coin he he pumped is, but he, he's just turning into a pump and dumper. Um, because he knows he has enough of a following. I mean, 180,000 people saw that video. Uh and then you know, he pumps the coin that he wants to pump. He basically what he does is he goes, looks at a chart, probably has some guy who's a chartist, probably look at a chart and say, hey. What's something that looks bullish? And then if I just say something on it and a bunch of people go buy it, I could push up the price rather easily, right? What's a shit coin that I can do that? And you can do that with anything from probably coin number 150. You could even probably do it from past 100 in terms of market cap ranking. You could probably do that with plenty of them. I, mean, I know plenty of influencers who do do that and uh, they profit on it. And, you know, somebody's left holding that bag. And who is it? The people who trust him. And, you know, it's funny. We're seeing people in the chat right now. Goth this guy, Gothic Panda, says, Alex Becker says he's a newbie in crypto. So you have people in the chat actively defending this guy. Like, okay, go. Go lose all your fucking money. You're you're uh, exactly the guy I was talking about when I said a lot of you guys are going to get wrecked in quarter four. Go. Go follow him. Follow his advice. I tell Alex Becker to go to hell, but he's five foot five, so he's already living in it every day. <laughs> um, we got a super chat here from Scott. Scott says, what's Gucci, MLD, and Charlie? Came here for snatch, ended up on the pace to retire at 40. Thanks, Fuck fam. Yeah. Scott, Scott's one of the guys that was watching us when it was not cool to yep. have a cryptocurrency channel. It was not cool to have all these things. And um he bought he bought his he bought some Bitcoin. Literally, he almost perfectly timed the bottom during the the beer bug, the last year's crash during the whole pandemic. And um he has some Bitcoin and he bought him literally like sub. I think he got him like right at 4,000 and here he is a year later and he's, he does well for himself. He's a young man. He's 27 and the guy is just like 
he's just he's been he because you know what it is remember we said this we've been saying this and i'm going to say this until i'm blue in the face time in the market always beats timing the market for all you guys like i'll wait for the dip i'll wait for the dip i'll wait for the dip keep waiting keep fucking waiting okay especially watch alex becker crypto, while you're waiting especially crypto i mean like let's say you buy at the worst possible time for bitcoin right i think there's a stat somewhere i forget exactly what it is but um the people who have held their coins uh i think it's like uh, since they bought like 98 percent of people who've bought in bitcoin are in profit at the moment i mean obviously if we're hitting new all-time highs um but it's one of those things where uh you buy bitcoin maybe you bought it at the top you wait four or five years you're more, more like you're probably 90 percent likely to be in profit <laughs> <laughs> he, he's probably thrilled about the coinbase thing <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so it's one of those things where it's like you just buy, you hold in, uh, with time in the market. And, you know, for crypto, time heals all wounds, right? You hold it until the end of the decade. You're going to be filthy rich compared to where uh, that cash is now, especially if you put that cash under your bed uh, and let it rot away like it does. Um, you know, the fiat money system is not made to make you money. If you try to hold it in a bank and try to keep, you know, making money, they're going to actually start charging you money. It depends on which country you're in. But, uh, most countries are going towards that. So, you know, and crypto gives you uh, interest rates like a Celsius network. They give you interest rates anywhere between five to 16% on your coins um, by just holding those coins. And then they pay you an appreciating asset on top of that. It's like crypto is just making the banks look like fools. And, and you know, uh, the people who are too scared to understand it, they just, they're missing a whole lot. And volatility, the government hates it. China, blah, 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 blah. You know, they just use all these excuses to, um, you know, basically not get into it and keep themselves poor. And that's unfortunate. Um, but there is a lot of opportunity for the few people who want to actually control their own money and have self sovereignty. Right. If you actually want to control your destiny, control your life, take the reins, you know, grow a sack and then buy some crypto. You know, it's, you just got to take the leap of faith a little bit. And, you know, if you do that early in a bull market, it's better uh, if you do it late in a bull market. It's still not bad. You'll, you're you're going to learn something. Just do it with something that you're willing to lose. Daniel Crypto Prosperity says, waiting for the dip with a grandma <laughs> and grandpa emoji. <laughs> hey, Daniel, you ain't lying, buddy. So listen, guys, we're going to talk today. We're about to go. We're going to look at the chart. We're going to look at the Bitcoin chart. Charlie's going to pull that up. We're also going to look at the Ethereum chart. Um, just remember when we told you Ethereum was going above $2,000 this year, Pepperidge Farm remembers. I remember, Charlie. Do you remember? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Do you, do you, we'd have to dig up that episode. It was only January when we called this. Um, well, we talked about it January. We even talked about it, I think, on our last episode before I did the Q1 Crypto Mindset course uh, for 2021. That was in, I think it was like December 8th or something like that. Yeah. Maybe somewhere around there. Uh, we did one last Tokyo Crypto episode, and then you were in America for like a month. So we didn't we really didn't do the Tokyo Crypto show for like a month, I think. Yeah. Um, that last episode we talked about, yeah, uh, you know, if you're focused on buying Bitcoin, stop doing that and focus on now buying Ethereum. Everybody yep. thought we were crazy. And guys, look, like, remember, look, I sold my Rolex. I'm not hard up for cash. I'm trying to, we are like, we're like beating our heads against the wall because people still don't believe in crypto. It's like, I, 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 <laughs> I, I cannot wrap my head around it. I literally, I sold my Rolex. My Rolex is gone, guys. It's not coming back. OK, um, and I bought and I sold it because I had faith in Ethereum. We were we missed the window by, um, you know, literally like uh, about two weeks. But here we are. The the, the money that we uh, traded is actually at a profit now, even though yep. we lost one Ethereum in regards to, uh, you know, we, the we got it back. We, we're basically depending on where I close the current position. We've already got it back. Like you're not supposed to tell them that. <laughs> hey, man, you know. Uh, well, okay, you guys. Get, I mean, we got that. We got that one Ethereum back. We're not yet at the goal, so, so I won't got, tell them okay. what price it needs to get to to get to the goal. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so we did get the Ethereum back. We did recover it. We have, and all these trades are documented. In addition to getting the Ethereum back that we lost, now we're back at our original investment in regards to Ethereum. But guess what? The Ethereum price is going up, and it's going to keep going up. And it's on track to hit 3000 in May. So once again, the Rolex shall return and it's going to be bigger and better. We'll, we'll it's talk about too. it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to get I'm going to wear one Rolex on each hand. <laughs> um, 
So we got a meme we want to show you guys because we, we know you guys, we love the memes. This meme is hilarious. Um, and <laughs> we are, we are going to show you, uh, exactly, uh, what's happening to us right now. So you guys, this one's for you, all of you guys out there in the hot dude army moon gang coalition. All right. The great unite, <laughs> great unity, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Unity. <laughs> oh, some pancakes, Charlie. <laughs> uh, we're we're gonna show you. We got today's meme of the day. It is hilarious. Okay, uh, take a look here. Me trying to hang on to the Bitcoin rocket <laughs> as it moons. Drink it, drink it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, hey, man. Hold, hold on to your butts, guys. Diamond uh, hands of steel that gecko has. That guy has diamond gecko hands, dude. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love that. I I watched that like seven times in the gym today. Uh, <laughs> you know, because I'm I'm just happy because um, it's just it just feels so right. It feels so good to be right, and it feels so right to be right. Seeing, you know, like you know, you guys watching Charlie for a while, he he like you know broke down in tears because he was just like it fucking is finally happened. And Charlie's been, you guys don't know, but behind the scenes, Charlie had went through hell in quarter of three or four last year doing some shit, and like it was just like a it was like a, I don't even believe in God, but it was like a blessing from <laughs> God for like this shit to like bless Charlie. And if anybody deserves a, an amazing life, an amazing amount of success and money. It is 100% Charlie. He's a good guy off the camera, on the camera. And we've been trying to tell you, you know, that's why we started this show. Like, if you watch Tokyo Crypto Show episode one, it's like so cringe. Like, we watch <laughs> it, like, it. Why, I love it. Like, you know, <laughs> so cringe. <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it's, at the end of the day, who gives a shit, right? It's like we we did what we believed in and it's it's working out because we were not just because we were right, but because. Um, we understood why we were right and we let other people know, right? And like a lot of people tell you, right? Don't tell normal people about cryptocurrency because nobody's going to listen. Moon Gang is an example of people listening, right? People do listen, but you just have to attract uh, smart people and everybody here who's in the chat, who's buying crypto, who's mm -hmm. um, figuring this stuff out and who's listening, right? Um, like Daniel Mountain's in the chat as well, or uh, Daniel Crypto Prosperity, he's in the chat. And uh, Great guy, Daniel. Great guy. yeah, he came to me in his first consult. And he said, what do you think about this strategy? Da, 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 da. He'd been watching my YouTube for a few months. And I was like, sounds exactly like what I do. <laughs> and, you know, so he paid attention, got free information, made money before uh, even having a consult after the consult and then taking the crypto mindset course. Boom, like crazy amounts of life changing money. Um, and uh, I think, you know, there's tons of guys, tons of stories like that how, in this chat. And so Moon Gang is one of those rare examples where um you know people actually listen and then they take action too and and then they take this is the key difference between moon gang and every other crypto community out there is moon gang takes fucking responsibility that's what i hated in 2017 when you looked on twitter and you looked on youtube and these other crypto places what they would do is they would give information and then people would spurg in the chat or in the uh comment section on twitter saying i lost money because you're a trader because you chart your chart blah 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 and it's like dude who who pressed the button to buy or sell this coin? Right, you did. Right, so everybody in here takes responsibility, whether making profits or losses. But ninety percent of the people, ninety five percent of the people in here, making tons of profits. So uh, good stuff. Uh, we got a super chat here from Send Tacos. Two dollars super chat uh, says, "I sold tacos to buy crypto. That is a good idea." Uh, so we had another one here from Nick. K hey, Nick K with the 499 super chat says MLD has me over here ready to pawn my brightling. Well, listen, you don't need to pawn your brightling for the sake of cryptocurrency. You need to pawn it because it is a brightling. Okay. Get yourself a Rolex. <laughs> Get yourself a Patek Philippe. Come on, Nick. You're too handsome to be wearing that piece of shit. Uh, made 50 K in, in the past six weeks off of Ethereum slash BNB. Just the beginning dot, dot, dot. And then the Second part of the super chat, I don't know, YouTube is blocking. It says, I also recently lost that 50K worth of cryptocurrency in a boating accident. Please send help. RIP. It's okay, Nick. God bless you. I'm sorry for your loss. Um, YouTube's acting weird. That part of the super chat didn't show up. 
Uh, Charlie, do you have those charts for Bitcoin and Ethereum ready? You know I do. Uh, right. Before I, before we show Bitcoin and Ethereum, let's take a look at. Uh, well, we'll take a look at a couple things, but I wanted to quickly take a look at uh, the Coinbase thing. Uh, one one interesting thing that people can look at prior to the price coming up. I'll show that first, and then I'll we'll take a look at Bitcoin and Ethereum. So let's take a look at this one here. This is interesting. Can you see this? Yep, we're gonna pull it up on the screen for you right now. There we go. So FTX, um, they had on their prediction markets, they had the Coinbase listing coin, right? This is the right here pre-IPO contract for today. Um, this one uh, earlier today started off, uh, this was about seven or eight hours ago, started off here at uh, around, uh, sorry, actually it started off here at 575. It's had some volatility as soon as the market opened. <laughs> like this thing just like starts coming down, which is interesting. So it'll be interesting to see um, like how you, in the next two hours, basically, or maybe the next hour and a half, you probably see any of the speculation you want here. You just go to FTX and then you put in a uh, coin slash USD. And then you can see here the Coinbase pre IPO, IPO contract. So you can start seeing some of this. Um, what do you call it? Uh, just speculation, right? So uh, cause right now, the coin is supposed to come out at $250. And right here, it's obviously double that or over double that uh, on the uh, speculative exchange. So kind of interesting here. Also on Binance, they now have stock tokens that you can trade as like synthetic versions of stocks. Um, for here, you have Tesla to um, Binance US dollar, BUSD. So you can trade that. Uh, I think later, I don't know if it's later today or exactly when they're going to list the Coinbase coin uh for the stock uh here as well and you can actually trade their these stocks in um uh fractions I, I forget how low of a fraction you can go but it's pretty low so you can even just buy like fractions of a stock with this which is interesting so a uh, lot of different speculative stuff going on here but obviously cz smart man trying to uh what do you call it um just take advantage <laughs> basically of this uh, <laughs> chinese <event>. criminal i'm <laughs> oh, sorry something's in my hey, throat man. <laughs> I, I met CZ face to face, man. That I was cool. there with you. I know. I met I know him too. Did. I know. He's a cool dude. Like people give him so much shit. He's just trying to make money. But at the same time, you know, he's got lovable so scumbag. Let's put it that yeah, way. Yeah. Let's go with that. <laughs> it's a good, I like the dude. I've, um, look, listen, Roger's weird. Okay. We, we've met Roger weird. Roger's cool guy. He's like definitely got some like Patrick Va Bateman vibes. Uh, <laughs> Vitalik is super fucking weird with his worm handshake. Yeah. That, that was you can't deny. That, that guy, like, like I was just like, you are autism in, like, embodiment. <laughs> like, the, you are just, like, human autism. And then CZ was, like, you know, he's just, like, kind of, like, a nerdy guy. But, you know, he's Chinese. And, you know, like, if, you, if you know anything about the Chinese economy and what's going on over there, you kind of be like, oh, okay, I understand why he's doing this. Yeah. Um, yeah it's just a $30 smart. trillion dollar printing in the last decade with China. Like, oh, okay. That sounds yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. And, well, the interesting thing about him is, right? He was based in China when he was working with OKX a little bit. And then he came to Japan um, and, and started Binance. And then uh, basically because Japan started regulating exchanges or whatever, he moved out to Malta. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, when we were talking with him, I just asked him, you know, like um, you know, he, he would wish to have stayed in Japan if he would, uh, if he could have. But, you know, he's a billionaire, so he doesn't really give a shit that much anymore. He could travel here. <laughs> but anyways um yeah so here's the price of bitcoin uh so what's happening with the price of bitcoin is we had a cycle high so you can see here right we had a cycle high on day 61 the day 75 low on the last pullback this was at the end of january into early february after that we broke a downtrend boom very bullish cycle had another little bit of a, uh, a short-term downtrend here and then kept to a nice nice cycle high here at day 49 these are the average 60-day cycles um which are made popular here in crypto by uh, our friend bob lucas um, go over and check them out on YouTube. Uh, then we have the next cycle low here and look at that. Boom. We broke that downtrend, had positive price action, went sideways, didn't make a new all time high for a bit of time, but then boom, right here, like you mentioned, right on the, just the day before the Coinbase, uh, listing, we have this boom, uh, new all time highs. And I'm expecting much, much higher here, uh, in the coming weeks. So it's not going to be a straight shut up, obviously. Uh, this wasn't a straight shot, but it was pretty parabolic, but, um, yeah, we we're going to get some ebbs and flows along the way, but Bitcoin's looking very, very nice here. Very bullish. I, um, I think, uh, sorry to cut you off. I just want to say, um, in regards to Bitcoin, I just 
fundamentals, scam pump, everything, I really think they're pushing for 70K Bitcoin because that would that oh, would yeah. set off. Because think about if you're a scumbag like Brian Armstrong, okay? First of all, you're bald. <laughs> Second of all, you're crooked as fuck and you're in your bed with all these shitheads. Third, you want to make as much money, and I know it's not an IPO, but you want to make as much money as possible with this IPO. So what do you do? You literally make history. You mm -hmm. pump Bitcoin. I, Charlie, I don't care. This doesn't seem organic. I'm not stupid. I'm fucking smart, and I'm telling no, you. No, like, of course. I mean, this is all. This is how the the financial world works. I mean, um, we go from a decent, uh, a, you know, the most decentralized financial system we have with Bitcoin, and then humans get involved and they try to centralize things, and then you know we get these ebbs and flows. The cool thing is uh, in crypto, right? We have a lot of decentralized exchanges coming out. Some of them are more decentralized than others. We have this now, this tug back in the decentralized direction. So I, I've been saying this since February of last year. Uh, within the crypto community, we're going to have a big tug of war um, between centralization and decentralization, right? We're going to have uh, that because a lot of people coming into crypto, if we're going to have the masses in crypto, the masses do not want to hold their private keys. They do not want the responsibility. Um, and so they're going to choose things like Celsius. They're going to choose things like Coinbase custody, uh, and they're going to do stuff like that, right? Um, so there is a niche for that within crypto, but you also need the decentralized aspect to continue. So it's going to be this push and pull. And then also you're going to have that same push and pull on the national level, corporate level. Um, and it's going to be a ge geopolitical uh, tug of war this entire decade. Uh, I've done one show a month dedicated to that subject. It's the least popular show, go figure, um, that I usually have in a month, um, simply because people don't want to hear the real stuff going on because, well, they just want to hear price go up, right? But I still do the show because I think it's important. And um, yeah, in uh, 2022, right around the Winter Olympics for China, that's when they're going to come out with their digital currency, and it's going to be live, um, and it's going to be getting interesting from 2022 to 2030 um we're gonna have a huge change in people's attitude towards both digital currency and cryptocurrency and you're gonna want to know what the difference is yeah i mean uh you know even like you know people that were that i'm very close friends with like you know it, you know and and again this is not disparaging him but you know i'm very very good friends with my, my personal mentor richard cooper entrepreneurs of cars and i was telling him like you know mid 2019 i was like i was like rich you gotta tell these guys to get into crypto and he he kind of said the same thing because his eyes weren't really you know he wasn't really focused on it. he's like I, I would i would do 10 to 5 percent of your portfolio of your all of your overall financial portfolio and i was like I, I, rich is like ultra smart too so i was like it's okay yeah. i was like he's i was like when the time comes around he's gonna fucking do it and like now he's just like he, he's like he's going there's borderline like degen with some of his <laughs> trading and, and I love it. Uh, he's, he's a great. real man. He's a cool, he's a fucking great guy. And yeah, a lot of people are just coming around. Um, going back to my initial statement, this is what I think is going to happen. I think right now they're going to have, uh, the Coinbase IPO. I definitely think that they're going to push for, to get a thousand dollar per uh, share on the uh, New York stock exchange. I definitely just don't see them not doing that. They're mm -hmm. definitely going to shoot for a thousand. Um, and in order to get to this new price, they are going because look, like 65k is not going to the none of these numbers because people are so desensitized to crypto right now. The only thing that is going to like set the internet on fire again is seventy thousand dollar Bitcoin. When that smashes, there's going to be a whole new news cycle. There's going to be all mania. Memes are going to be at all time high. Everything is going to be up. Shit coins like Hex are going to be up. Everything is going to be flying through the roof. But I think that personally, I believe that they are going to push this and try to hit a 70K Bitcoin. I just don't because we just hit some two. I mean, we've been smashing all time highs here within the last 48 hours. Like how many how many all time highs did we set? Like three, four, five? <laughs> yeah, it depends. If you want to if you want to go down to like the lower time frame on the chart, you could probably see a bunch of them. Yeah. Or, but there's yeah at least in the last two days right um so basically we hit a new all-time high yesterday and another one today and hopefully another one tomorrow yeah no it's 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 looking it's looking real fire i'm i'm so happy uh if mama mama dukes is texting me right now hey did you see bitcoin <laughs> you know so she's <laughs> she's just waking up right now so uh it's it's just all the symptoms are there um now let, let's talk about in my coin of the year personally and i've i've been I've been just harping on about this coin. Uh, you know, Myron Gaines, the uh, the number one dating podcast in the world is the Fresh and Fit podcast down in Miami, Florida. 
They're also the number one podcast in Miami. And I was down there on the show in January. And Myron Gaines is a friend of mine. He started off in the Masculine Empowerment Network. And now his brand has blown up, getting an average of four to 3,000 live viewers per show. And I remember, because I, he's so dedicated and, and just so like narrow-minded in a good way. Like When he has focus, he's just got focus. And I was like, Myron, stop walking <laughs> right now. And I was like, buy Ethereum. Buy Ethereum right now. He's like, "Are you sure?" I was like, "I'm gonna buy." He's like, "I'm gonna buy some of this right now." He's like, "This is my money." He's like, "I don't." I was like, "I, I don't want to waste my money." I was like, "Dude, shut up! I love you. Fucking buy Ethereum right now." And he's like, "Okay." And then now he's always like, "Hey man, that was really good. Uh, that was really good. Uh, you know, advice you gave me there." <laughs> Which you said in January, right? January. Yeah, he got in like uh, like uh, eleven hundred, twelve hundred ish. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. Right around this region here. I mean, yeah, it's been doing very, very well. Totally. Like one of the best areas to buy it, right? Because you had this uh, pump up here to about 13, 1400, right? In, in January, you had this one drawdown, basically two chances here. And so you got it in this section here, and then boom, 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 right? Like a, what, let's look at, I mean, just looking at the percentage increase from, let's say, 1100 to today's price is a double in your money over the course of a little bit over one quarter of the year. Not too shabby. No, I, I mean, I, I'm just, you know, I, I somebody told me I in mean, my other I have one of these uh you know mastermind groups that I'm in and they were they were like, Hey man, like everybody just be sure to buy Ethereum. Like it's like this is really gonna take off. And I was like, guys, I scooped this in fucking November. I am good <laughs> to go. I am good to go, brother. I'm set like to bet. Um yeah. but yeah, it's just uh it, it's just it's looking real good. I, now let me ask you this, Charlie. I've been I've been saying this to you privately for a while, but I'm gonna think I'm gonna make a public. I personally have been watching this since early March, and I'm thinking in May we we are going to see a three thousand dollar Ethereum. Now, what do you think about that? We've been talking about it, but I'd like to talk about it publicly now and and get some technical analysis behind that and the probability of it occurring. What do you think about that, Charlie? Yeah, very very possible. Um, I think it's most likely uh i'm i'm aiming for that as well and i think it could happen sooner so we'll see how how quickly it, it shakes out but um you know sometimes with ethereum uh like we've kind of had like a like if we got kind of go back here to the one week chart we take a look here right since ethereum broke its all-time high essentially do, 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 do. Let's have that line there, right? It broke out of its all-time high, which was at about fourteen hundred dollars or just below. Came up here to twenty uh, forty, right? Came back down, touched it, and then has kept this uptrend since. So it didn't right like, immediately explode and just like not stop going up, right? It has a little bit of an ebb, of, ebb and flow to it since that time. And the last time it had like a, a massive straight shoot up was from here at basically five hundred dollars. Uh, up to actually back up to the all-time high. So getting a nice, like, what was that from? That was from November until about early January. So get a nice, like, two-month pump like that would be really nice on Ethereum. And um, so, I mean, let's just say, for example, we got, like, an extreme pump on Ethereum at some point. That'd be a 200% increase. If we were to say a 200% increase from the current price, uh, yeah, $7,000. So I don't think, you know, we're going to get maybe four weeks like that in the near future, but that just shows you, you know, the $3,000 price, not too far away, not actually that difficult to reach. Um, it's about a 27, 28, 29% increase from the current price, which in crypto, you know, you wait about a month, two months max, and it's most likely to happen. Real quick, before we carry on here, guys, um, I've just noticed some channel analytics. The likes on both channels are very low. In order for us to maximize our reach in the YouTube algorithm and because we're cryptocurrency-based and dating-based, it's a little bit harder for us to really get this message out. So if you could just please click the like button. Um, on my channel, there's 160 people, so we need at least 80 likes. On Charlie's channel, there's 266, so he needs at least 133 likes on his channel. Please smash the like button now. It's free. That's like, you know, we're going on an hour here. I'm going to keep going because it's such important information. Um, we're actually going to reveal uh, the countdown price uh, uh, tracker that we have for Coinbase. And we're going to show you guys how to track the release of the price as well. Um, the only thing we ask you is please smash that like button now. We really appreciate that. Yeah, if you want to take a 
if you wanted to try to take a quick look at the price, because the New York Stock Exchange has opened, right. and ooh, it was, let's see here, it's probably less than an hour into it, so it's, the actual price is probably not agreed upon yet. It, like I said, with the direct listings, which are less common, uh, it takes a bit of time, but if we were to just put in coin in here, and then you instead of crypto, you just look at either stocks or all, you can go here and see Coinbase Global Inc. on the NASDAQ. Press that. And oh, there was a pre there was a pre-market uh one actually here before, but not anymore. So they're waiting so that it's like you can see here, you hover over this and you see it's open. And so they're not actually uh, they're deciding right now, uh, based on the data that's come in uh, for people who tried uh, basically had pre what do you call it? Uh pre start pre-starting bell price discovery basically those people they're looking at all that data and saying okay we know that is probably minimum 250 dollars and worth 66 billion dollars overall as a company right we have these buy, different buys and sell asks from different uh you know organizations and so on and so forth all right so what do we think this should start at and as soon as it comes out there and people are start start actively actively trading it should be around noon eastern standard time and once that happens it's going to be mania so um i don't know what time it is eastern right now i think it's maybe right what, now it I is mean. it is 10 uh it is 10 08 a.m eastern standard time yeah try to look at this chart in about an hour or two and then you'll start seeing kind of where that's at but you can like i mentioned before you can kind of come over here to ftx uh and look at their pre-ipo contract um which will be interesting but um, also, I think it was this one here. Yeah, basically, this is interesting. I think Coinbase is, like you mentioned before, right, going to go most likely up, uh, especially much higher than what the uh, 250 price recommendation yes, is. Easily. Right. And here we have returns of four stocks in the first week after a direct listing, um, of, like Slack, uh, as an example. Uh, and they all came down, not, you know, not by the much, right? Like Slack came down 8%, uh, 12% here for Asana. I don't even know what that is, but um, yeah. And then some of them recovered like Plantier. Um, but it's interesting to kind of see this uh, volatility. And the reason why this is, is because uh, with an IPO, right? You already have an agreed upon price because you've already gone out there and tried to drum up money, VC money and different things uh, for people to invest Whereas with a direct listing, which is what Coinbase is doing, uh, there was no capital uh, gained before their listing. So um, it's a little bit more of a Wild West uh, volatile uh, type of launch. Um, so it should be interesting to see. Um, we got a super chat here from Rye Light, 499 super chat. It says, thanks, MLD and Charlie. The info on these shows and in the course pays for itself. The true risk is only in your fears of failure. 100%. So true. And honestly, you look, we are so good at what we do, okay, that the only fear you should have is not taking action. We are very confident in what we do. We have stellar track record. And that's why enrollments for both of our courses just keep smashing. Like me and Charlie are just smashing all time highs, all time highs, all time highs behind the scenes as well. And so, you know, when it, I'm reading um, the 10x rule right now by uh, Grant Cardone, and I know he has a lot of criticism about him, but, you know, one of the things he's talking about is how how people get so afraid to take action because they create these hypothetical situations of everything that can go wrong in their mind, but they never run the hypothetical situations of what it can go right. And then they focus on what can go wrong, and that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and they downward spiral into this negativity and they're like, oh, see, like everything's a scam. Life's a scam and life's screwed up. But cryptocurrency, it's it's I know it seems comp like, you know, from the outside, it's very complicated and very difficult. But if you just literally do the math, run the numbers, it is statistically very hard for you to fail if you are following what we're saying and you're just investing in good blue chip non-centralized coins like we're not telling you to invest in you know shit coins we're not saying like buy doge we have never ever said buy doge neither of us um <laughs> you know it's like we're, we're not we don't we don't advise you to buy and that's why when we see obvious shit coins out there you know i'm not gonna have to say what i what everybody knows what i'm thinking about um you know we we are we're very very transparent of what we believe in everything and 
I just think that a lot of you guys are going to miss out on big profits because of it's like false reality, you know, fear just making you think that something is really there and it's not. Yeah. And the opportunity isn't here forever, right? Um, the bull market's here for a limited period of time. The bear market will come. The bear market's actually not that long. People view the bear market as the price below the previous all time high. That's not the bear market. The bear market is, yeah, dropping from the all time high, finding a new low, and then increasing from there. You know, you have, uh, I mean, debatable when a bull market starts and when a bear market ends exactly in crypto because it is very different from the traditional market. So the traditional market rules or at least guidelines don't necessarily apply exactly. But, um, you know, the bull market is here for a limited amount of time, right? Bitcoin is getting more expensive. People are starting to then go and buy Ethereum, like we mentioned back in uh, November, December, January. Then next, right, people will start shifting to some higher tier altcoins. And then from there, people will start to shift you know, towards the very end of the bull market will start to shift towards just pure crap, right? And uh, once it gets to that point, people that will be like, I'm rushing into the market now, now's the time, right? And as soon as that happens, that's when, boom, bull market's over. So um, don't get in when you think it's, you know, a for sure bet, get in when you have a little bit of fear um, because that's actually a, a good sign. Yep. Um, you know, I just think that right now they're, you know, I'll, you know, somebody DM'd me today. He's like, get out of crypto, man. It's about to crash. I was just like, I just, I was, I'm so fed up with that. I, I literally replied, shut the fuck up. <laughs> just like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. I don't have time for the stupidity. Like, but I understand how it is out there for you guys because there's so much disinformation and it can be very overwhelming and, and confusing. And, and for me and Charlie, it's like, you know, it's like another day in the park. But um, yeah, it can be confusing, and that's why we're consistent. Like I said, we started the show in 2019 because we wanted to help you guys when it was not cool. Now you got everybody fucking Alex. I'm a I'm a small pecker becker, uh, checking in at five foot five with this shitty advice, telling people to sell Ethereum. That is the that like can is there any technical way to back that up, Charlie? Like just sell Ethereum in April second? Uh, no, no. <laughs> just like what do you? Like there, there are people out there, right? There's, so there's guys who, he's not even a Bitcoin maxi because he says sell Bitcoin too, um, which is absolutely ridiculous. Let's, let, let's say, for example, you're somebody who took his advice and you were smart enough to buy Bitcoin at like $24,000 and buy Ethereum at like $700, $800. And then you sold your positions and then you have to rebuy it higher. Now you just lost the position of a lifetime. Thanks really? to thanks to uh, Mr. Alex Becker, right? And yeah, he says, "Oh, I'm a crypto newbie," you know. But he says it like once, and then he goes on a whole tirade of why what he thinks, and it's like, uh, yeah, it, it's not helping people. And it, he's taking profits off of that in the background. It's uh, not, you know, I'm not going to say that as an accusation. I'm just going to say it's a high likely possibility that he's pumping coins for his benefit because that's what people who like making money do. And so I don't fault him for that. I'm just like, all right, you know, that's the route you wanted to go down. That's the route you chose. It is what it is. You clearly do not have much of a care for most of your followers because yeah, some of them will make money, but most of them will lose if you keep doing that to them. And he doesn't really care. I'm going to selfishly reply to this one because he's, he's complimenting me. He says, Jonathan, can you please write the face cream you use for keeping your face fe fresh and wrong? And then he, he says fresh and young. So it's this one right here. This keeps all the crypto stress off of me. Uh, this the the Lox, This is Loxetane right here. Uh, the Immortal Reset. I, I put this on my face before I go to bed in the corners of my nose, and uh, it's really good stuff. They also have like the eye cream as well, and this is all part of the the self care that I do is is part of like you know um, keeping healthy. It's a total it's a total lifestyle. I've been drinking celery juice. Let me tell you something. I've not, I've not been drinking alcohol. I've been going to the gym every day for you guys that follow me on um, on uh, on Hot Dude Life, my Instagram, and like I have been dialed in, man. I have just been so like it's it's eleven thirty at night. I've lived a full day, and I'm I'm full of energy right now. So like you know, especially now because like Charlie was saying, this bull market is coming to an end. This is not this like there are bad times coming. Okay, you have well, to make it bad for everybody. Right for the well, I mean, like bad times for the masses. Oh, right, and, and and um, you know, it doesn't have to be us. It doesn't have to be you there. But now is the time to optimize your health. Now is the time to optimize your self care. Optimize your gym. Optimize your diet. 
And that's what we're talking about. The masculine empowerment night. We're coming out on uh, April 29th. We're going to teach you how to live like a super disciplined, ultra health, ultra focused lifestyle. And then you can channel that into Charlie's information coming out as well. And let this be a year like no other year before I, you know, before I lost all my money in the, that terrible boating accident, this was going to be the best financial multi-million dollar year of my life, but I lost all my crypto. It sucks. It is what it is. But, you know, you guys hope you just can learn from my mistakes and don't uh, don't take your crypto on a boat. And uh, KC with the CA 1399 <laughs> super chat says, thank to thanks to you both. Great works from two genuine guys. Thank you so much. And then C Lopez says, gents, 10K Ethereum still in play by end of year. Thank you both. Charlie? Yeah, easily. easily um, yeah. I mean, not, yeah, it's like one of those things where we say easily, but I mean, there's a there's a long road to get there. And so, you know, it's not necessarily easily for everybody, but it's one of those things. Yeah, it's very well within the cards. The fundamentals haven't changed. Um, actually, today, um, so Binance is timing up some things with the Coinbase launch. Ethereum is timing up some things with Coinbase launch, right? The Ethereum hard fork for Berlin um, is coming out today. And uh, what does that do? The basic idea behind it is it simply is a way to uh, minimize fees or reduce gas fees. Um, so people who are using things like Uniswap or buying NFTs or whatever they're doing out there with their Ethereum, right, should have lower gas fees um, coming forward throughout the summer. So that's just one uh, small update that Ethereum is doing. And they timed it on a good day and that helps the price and, you know, helps, helps it move forward. And you're speaking of millionaires and people who have self-made and, you know, disciplined guys who optimize their health as well, uh, entrepreneurs and car, Richard Cooper, we're talking about him earlier, how, you know, the beginning he was a little, he was a little skeptical about crypto about like two years ago, but like now he, he's like, cause he's like, you know, he just turns attention to it. And now he is doing very, very, very okay. Very okay for himself. Just yeah, I know for a fact he's got some sub a thousand dollar Ethereum for sure. I, I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I, I know. I do know he just bought a McLaren. And if you guys know what a McLaren mm. is, I mean, that is like a machine built for you to kill yourself in because it goes that fast. Like, and it's it's amazing. There's one in the basement of my uh in the basement of my building here, and I, I go down there and I, I look at it. It's parked next to an Aston Martin. I really want an Aston Martin, um, but it's so nice just to see that kind of luxury and stuff. And then, you know, he's embodying like the man who, you know, he just wrote his, he just wrote his new book, the unplug alpha, really good book. And he is talking about, um, you know, what's happening with crypto on his channel as well, entrepreneurs mm. and cars. So good information. He, very good information. And he comes from the tr traditional financial sector as well. And he sees that it's sinking quickly. So he says right here, don't listen to Bechter on crypto gents. Listen up to these guys. Um, so yeah, again, like, you know, there's just so much going on right now. Uh, I'm not, I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing. Somebody asked where Savaka is at. I just, uh, <laughs> that, was, uh, that was entertaining. <laughs> the, the Tom Bombadil of the crypto mindset group. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, going back to this thing, we truly believe that we are going to see, I, I don't think this is organic right now. I think that this is definitely pushed up by uh, coinbase because they want their coin to do good um excuse me not their coin well their, their coin is the name of their stock but they want their stock to do good and we're gonna see uh we're gonna see when do you when do you see this cooling off somebody asked earlier like are we gonna see a massive pullback and i see if we even see a pullback i'm thinking you know what's a pullback probably worst case scenario 51 grand and like is, is that really a pullback right well i mean right it there? depends yeah, I would look at it in a percentage terms and then you can decide the dollar amount there, right? Well, what I'm looking at probably, I mean, for Bitcoin, right, what we could see is throughout the summer, let's see it. Uh, I want to see it hold above 50K, essentially. Uh, even if it gets to 80K, 100K, whatever, um, if it holds above 50K, um, then that's, that's kind of what I'm what I'm looking at. And if, as long as it holds above 50K, I think it'll do well. And then uh, that'll allow the altcoins to kind of do their runs uh, along the way as well. So a uh, pullback is actually healthy in this bull market when you get a big move. And it actually, two things, right? It allows you to buy the dip. That's great. Allows you to give opportunities on different coins. And then B, um, it also allows you to um, have actually a little bit of a longer bull market, a more healthy uh, price increase because if you go parabolic too fast, the price can't actually reach 
the ultimate heights that it could have in the bull market if it would have just kind of gone up a little bit more gradually. So you don't want like a straight line up because then you get a straight line down as well. So you want like a, you know, some straight lines up and then a few pullbacks, healthy pullbacks, and then, you know, continue that way. You get a little bit of a longer market, more opportunity to make money, more opportunity for the else to do well and very good times and more opportunities to lose your crypto in so many boating accidents. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. We're we, we're we're probably gonna have a couple more of those this summer. Uh, Marcus the third with the four ninety nine super, super chat says, "Let's effing go, diamond hands, baby." Hashtag hodl gang. I think you know this. He's pumped up, and I'm really excited to uh, see. Uh, yeah, one ex one one extra interesting statistic today about the hodl gang. Right. Miners right now, for the first time in several years, um, are holding basically they usually they sell Bitcoin once they mine it to pay off different things that they're doing, including electricity costs and all that stuff. Right. Um, but they're for the first time in quite a long time, majority of miners are holding Bitcoin right now. So we're getting Bitcoin at new all time highs and they're not selling. And that's unusual and that's bullish. So I think that's just everywhere we look, we have different statistics, different information that's just saying you know, uh, price go up because, uh, everybody was looking for like the last month and a half at this thing called the Pi cycle top indicator, which had apparently, uh, called a couple of tops in the past, totally, you know, basically totally getting wrecked. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, this time next week, people will believe that that indicator doesn't really hold any, any salt anymore. Um, but it's one of those things where uh, people had looked at it for so long, people were just kind of, I don't know, shaking their boots a little bit and that was an opportunity to be buying yeah um i think that oh no is this real talk about timing birdie madoff just died did he really just die oh, shit. no i didn't know that he's definitely going to hell uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah you know um i think that this week we're just we're just gonna see i mean i think we're gonna see a lot of all-time highs um what are your what are your let me ask you this while we're here and i think everybody wants to ask this because Dude, I, I really think this company that I'm about to mention, I think they exclusively somehow they have access to data through Facebook, social media, whatever. But I feel like they exclusively target people who have no idea about cryptocurrency. And the, and the coin I'm talking about is Ripple. OK, every time somebody that is like visibly stupid to me, they they want to ask me about cryptocurrency it's always about ripple and and dude they've been uh doing this in charlie are you there is that am i here is that is charlie here is this am i off or is charlie off okay i think uh okay <laughs> well uh what i'm saying is that i just don't think uh what what's happening with uh with Ripple is entirely organic. And so um, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait for Charlie to come back. Um, man down. I think he his house just got crashed in a boating accident. And uh we'll see. Oh, Charlie just texted me. My stuff froze, my unfreeze in a minute, be right back. Okay, uh I'm gonna restart and come back. Charlie's Johnny on the spot, okay. Well, okay. In the meantime, while we're going to Charlie come back, um, I, I just can't, I just, I literally cannot with a clear conscious endorse, um, ripple, right? I just can't at all. Um, they are, when you look at the cryptocurrency itself, it's totally terrible of a coin. Hey, Charlie, welcome back, buddy. Can you hear Dream me? Dreamier kicked me off. <laughs> yeah, I can hear That's you. That's so weird. Yeah. You, you froze for a second. I thought I froze. I was like, oh no, my internet crashed. And then Everybody's like, no, yeah, that, you're you're good. <laughs> yeah, I thought you froze too, and I was just like, oh yeah, it's, it's I I have a million tabs open. What can I say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah. Where were we? Well, yeah. So let me let me pull up the um, let me pull up the <laughs> the the scam pump of the fucking the the week, right? Would you like to see a very or Charlie? I know you're the chart <laughs> expert, but I'm going to show you some of my chart expertise here. Let's, uh, let's see it. Take a look at <laughs> at the organic uh, <laughs> organic moves here with uh, with Ripple. I, I just a lot of people have been coming to me and telling me like, oh yeah, like this totally is a good investment. Like the volume here, everything. Um, mm. What do you think about this? I mean, I think it's up 
40, or let's say 40% volume in the last 24 hours. And then in the last seven days, up 75%. Um, only thing, only thing up higher than that is Doge. I mean, look at this is like if this is not indicator that we're in a bull market. If you guys can't see that, I I just don't, I just don't know what to say. I just truly don't know what to say at this point. Yeah, it's just over speculation. Uh, you know, uh, I don't, I don't know if Elon uh, posted anything about Doge recently or or what's the deal with Doge. But I mean, Ripple has had some positive news in that the SEC had tried to get some information from them during their court case. And uh, they, the SEC was denied certain information. I forget exactly what it was. And so people are like, oh, yay, Ripple go up, right? And um, what do you think the people at the Ripple Foundation or um, you know, people who are uh, basically running this coin going to do? They've been holding on to this for years. They're going to sell it right on your head. you know. So uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mess with it. There's plenty of but way better opportunities <laughs> out there. You're getting you're getting shamed by uh, Jordan saying Charlie literally has 72 tabs open. <laughs> Close them down, and then Roberto says, ah, "I told you, Charlie, million tabs is gonna bite your ass." Hey man, I, I'll take I'll take having the convenience yeah. of the tabs open versus uh, getting jumped off the show for a couple minutes. How, how much how much RAM do you have in that computer? I don't, dude. I put I built this thing in 2019, and then I I haven't adjusted it since, so I'm not really sure. I'd have to look on oh. the on the back end. I have 64 gigabytes, so you got to You got to I, th- I got plenty. Have- I got pretty close to that. I'm pretty sure, but uh, yeah, yeah, it is what okay. it is. Well, we'll we'll sort that out later. But anyways, send tacos with the most reasonable explanation. FBI hackers. <laughs> but, but anyways, guys, uh, Charlie, anything else you want to say before we go? Price go up. I mean, things looking good. Everything's looking good. Uh, so you know, gotta gotta enjoy the bull run while it's here and. Uh, you know, if you're not sure what what to do, you know, grab a consult. Uh, send me an email if you have uh, you know any questions about that. Charlie at CultivateCrypto.com, and uh, yeah, come watch the show tomorrow. We'll be back on here with free content uh, on my channel, Cultivate Crypto, on YouTube at uh, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, as we usually do. So uh, come and enjoy. And then after that, you come check it out on my channel, Modern Life Dating, on YouTube, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday to Friday, and. Uh, Saturdays, we have 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my show, Dude Party. Charlie's made a couple appearances on Dude Party before, um, where we talk about, you know, all things man-related, Money Muscles game. That's going to do it for us today, guys. We really appreciate you tuning in with us today. Please smash that like button one more time. Remember, keep an eye on the markets. It's not organic. This is absolutely artificial. So don't ape in hard right now. Don't don't take out the second mortgage right now. Don't do anything crazy. Like, things will We'll deep. I think things will come back down, but I think right now Coinbase is absolutely inflating the market to give themselves good clout because nobody wants an IPO with a terrible product on the market. And right now their product is Bitcoin, so they're pumping the price in order to get good buyers for their IPO. That's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next week. 